Hi there. In this video, we'll talk about some of the things you can do to be successful in National 5 Physics. Now, I'm sure you're already listening to your teacher, working hard in class, and of course, handing in all your homework. So I'll not say too much about them. Now, when you do hand in your homework, by the way, try not to leave any questions blank. Even if you're sure your answer's wrong, your teacher at least gets some idea of where you need support, if you write something. Many pupils find it useful to make notes as they go along. Now, I'm not suggesting rewriting the complete course notes. That's not a good use of your time. You might find it helpful to write down a list of definitions like this one, so they're all in one place. You could note any important diagrams, like a model of the atom, the circuit symbol for a MOSFET, or how radio waves diffract around hills, for example. Or you could note down how best to approach certain types of question, especially if you're making mistakes with them in tests or homework. When preparing for important exams, though, I'd recommend spending a good chunk of your time answering past paper questions. I was once asked by a pupil, are the past paper questions easier or more difficult than the real exam? And that's the point. The past papers are the real exam. And there's no better way of preparing yourself for your final examination than by trying them. Unfortunately, they don't let you have a sneak peek of the final exam you'll be sitting. But the more time you spend on past papers, the more you'll become familiar with the types of questions which come up. And this can really help your confidence. Now, initially, you could even be answering the questions using your notes, trying to commit the answers to memory. As the final exam approaches, though, it's a good idea to attempt past papers under what's known as exam conditions, with no distractions, trying to answer all questions in the given time. The pupils who do best in exams learn from their mistakes. So, if you get a result in a test or in a homework that you're not happy with, make a note of where you lost the marks. If you read through these notes before the next test, then hopefully you'll not make the same mistake again. I often hear pupils talking themselves down, saying I can't do open-ended questions, or I can't do potential dividers, or even I just don't get physics. Just because you've made mistakes in the past doesn't mean that's always got to happen. Adding just one word to these sentences makes all the difference. It's okay to admit I can't do potential dividers yet, because then at least you're accepting that things can change. If you put in the work and learn from your mistakes, then you'll see a huge difference in your results. Last but not least, you might want to visit my website. Over the coming year, I'll be adding lots of helpful stuff which can help you with the physics relationship sheet, help you memorise the important definitions you'll need to know, and you'll find links to my videos which will cover a whole range of topics from all three units. Before the prelims and the final exam, I'll be running the live help sessions again. I'll be going over exam style questions and if you can't see them live as they're streamed, you can view them on YouTube when it's convenient for you. You can even download a list of the questions on my website. Now I've not covered everything in this video, so I'll be talking at some other point about the physics assignment, since it will affect your final grade. But if you follow these tips and try to work solidly throughout the course, you'll be setting yourself up for success. Good luck. For more information on upcoming videos, summary sheets and so on, visit physics-podcast.co.uk. Thank you for listening.